Hello. Hey, Aldo, what's going on? This is Alejandro Narbona on behalf of Inglés Corporativo. Thank you very much for being on time. Are you ready to start? Yeah. Yes, All right. Excellent. So, as you always know, well, as you know, I always start with the previous class with a quick review. Do you remember what was yesterday's topic? Yeah, yesterday we were talking about uh, credit card and debit cards and the, mm -hmm. the, all, the whole information that we can found on the plastics. That's right, on the plastic. On the plastic. Mm -hmm. That's right. And uh, remember that... Um, give me a second. You actually mentioned a word, but I just... My apologies, I just... It, it slipped my mind. It slipped my mind it slipped my mind i think you said can too if i'm not mistaken no no okay no. never mind never mind okay so um how many digits are there in a credit card normally visa and mastercard uh 16 16 that's right and uh, the what information do we have in front of the card in front of the card, we got the the bank holder. We got the card holder, right? The number of the credit card or the debit card. Uh -huh. The due date. The expiration date in this case. Or the expiration. Well, the expiration date. And uh, I think that's it, right? The, the type of if you are if we are talking about a credit card, the type uh -huh. of the the credit card the the type of credit card, that's right. If it's gold, platinum, or mm -hmm. something like that. Excellent. And if it has a chip, we found it on the on the front. Ah, that's, that's, that's what I think you said. You can found, I think. Mm -hmm. Now, mm -hmm. when we are using modal verbs, for example, can, you're going to have the verb in the base form. So, for example, you can find, you can play. Mm. Right? Okay. All, you always use the base form after a modal verb like can, could. That's why we didn't change it in the reported speech, remember? Mm -hmm. Great, thank okay. you very much. Um, hello, Alison, Eric, Gladys, too. Alison, what information do we have at the back of the card? At the back of the card, we have the CVV code. Okay, is that the most important? Yes. Okay. And also, I think I didn't mention, but you're supposed to have your signature in the back. Well, mine doesn't have it, but I don't know is if if it's because it's a debit card. I think it does. I would tell you, but I don't even know where my wallet is, so it should be somewhere around there. Mine doesn't have my signature in the back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I recommend you to write it down. It's supposed okay. to have, have a, like a little space right there. Yeah, yeah, it does, but I, I never signed it. Yeah. All right. <laughs> and Gladys, what is the first yeah. number that you can find in a visa? Four in or a visa, five? Four. Okay. And in MasterCard? Five. It's a five. That's right. I didn't tell you, but American Express, I think it's three, the most common. Number three. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Great. Now, Eric, besides vocabulary as far as credit card, what was yesterday's topic? Uh, let's see. I guess we talk about, well, the, the benefits of uh, having a credit and debit card. Mm -hmm. And uh, what is the fees better to to choose one of them or which one is better than the other one. Okay, I totally agree. Juan Carlos. Yeah, can I say something? Go ahead, Eric. Well, I just want to share something that I that it happened to me uh, today. Go ahead, be my uh, guest. I was, I was, I was uh, checking my, my cell phone and I saw a, a, an interview. It's supposed that interview was held in one of the local channels here in El Salvador to President Bukele, and he was talking, and he talked about the, what is the name, uh, uh, it is an, uh, 
uh, a digital coin. Uh, well, I don't remember. Bitcoin? Bitcoin. Uh, yeah, I, I guess Bitcoin. it's Bitcoin. Well, what I want to share is that I, well, by curiosity, I follow all the steps that I, that they mentioned on the, on the link they, they provided. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the end, uh, I got a call, I don't know from, from where, but they started to ask me question and they were asking me for the, the, the last or three digits. And I remember that, that we were talking about yesterday mm -hmm. and it was uh, kind of curious to me because we were talking about security things and something like that. Well, what I did is was uh, I, I told to the, the, the girl that if maybe she could call me uh, tomorrow because I didn't have the, the car and I, I'm going to, that I will going to find it, and maybe tomorrow we could could provide that information. But it's a kind of curiosity. All right. So you followed all the steps out of curiosity. How do you say por curiosidad? Out of curiosity. Out of okay. curiosity. Out of curiosity. Out of. I'm gonna write it down. So you call them out of curiosity, and uh, you followed all the steps for what? For doing what? In order to invest, because what what they they say is that if you like like it's something like in separate in in, in separate in separate if you invest two hundred dollars they give you more money than what have you invested. Okay, but that's that's, that's actually great. Uh, thank you very much for sharing, Eric. Because you remember that we were talking about um, yeah about pretty much the risk when shopping online. And this actually was was able to be applied to your personal life, guys. What do you think about Eric's uh, experience? Well, um, I don't know if the the coin that he was talking about was crypto monedas. That's what that's the name, crypto crypto monedas. Okay. The coin. Um, mm -hmm. I just read something about that a few weeks ago and I don't know why, but I think that it's too good to be true. For it's, me, it, 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 it's a kind of a scam. Yeah, I'm, not sure. I'm not sure at all, at all but mm, too risky. Yeah, too risky. And um, one of the things that I that I got me my attention was it's supposed that the Presidente Bukele was, is one of the investors in mm. those kind of uh, crypto monedas. Yeah, okay. that's the name of the article, I, 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 I guess. The yes. secret that that the rich people doesn't want to to share something like that, right? Share with somebody, yes. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, I think it's a scam. Okay. I think. It, it might be. Maybe. Got it. Thank you for All sharing right. that, guys. How do you say when something is suspicious? Another way of saying suspicious has to do with an animal that lives in the water. Too fishy? Well, it's, it's fishy. It's fishy. Another way of saying fishy. suspicious. It's fishy. Suspicious. Okay. Great, thank you very much guys for sharing. What else do you rem remember about yesterday's class that is worth mentioning? We already talked about the credit card information. We already talk, talked about um, assessing the risk when buying online. About the benefit of credit or debit card. Mm -hmm. About the benefits of a debit or credit cards. What would you use? What, what do you think is um, more recommended to use when buying online, a debit card or a credit card? A debit card. I recommend a credit card. Aha, uh -huh. so we have two different points of view. Morena, explain your point of view, no, and no, then Juan no, Carlos. No, no, I, I, I confuse, <laughs> it's, it's credit card. Okay, why? Why? Well, I guess it's all because uh, Credit cards, it's uh, money from the banks, and they take care of her, of their, of its money. And if you yeah. support, if you use a debit cards, it's your own money. So they 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 also care, but not that much as their own money. 
Okay. Is that the same way you think, Juan Carlos? Thank you, Eric. Yes. Um, uh, yes, it's correct. Uh, and I, the credit card, maybe to pay uh, insurance. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and the other case, for example, the many banks uh, to give a credit card ele or electronic credit card only to use to buy an internet. For example, uh, this credit card is, is, uh, is electronic. Mm -hmm. They don't have a plastic, but uh, to, to, to a sink a month for the new plastic, uh, this uh, electronic car, for example, mm -hmm. uh, uh, 100 uh, or 1,000 uh, is at the limit. So you can set for up example, a limit. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Okay. Uh, to to use the limit at the credit card, uh, the physical credit card, mm -hmm. put the limit in the electronic credit card. So you you mentioned having limits in both. Uh, no, the for example in in the credit card in the plastic, mm -hmm. you have a uh, one thousand for example. Mm -hmm. This one thousand to put. 200 and and your pla and your electronic credit card, for example. Mm, so 1,000 in one and 200 in the other one. Uh-huh. Okay, got it, got it. Guys, that's something else that people do. Sometimes they use debit cards on, uh, they just deposit the money, for example, if it's a $30 thing, they deposit $30. So they try to prevent themselves from being scammed with more money out of the credit card. Okay. All right. So yes, yeah. that's actually okay. what we covered yesterday. Any other comment that you want to make about yesterday's class? No? Okay. Good enough. So let's go ahead and rock it and start with today's lesson. Give me a second. Let me go ahead and share it with you. If there's any new vocabulary, go ahead and write it down, please. So, please say it with me. I will be able to. I will be able to. I will be able to. Assess risks and provide their related. The, give me a second. My computer has something that doesn't let me read. Here. Assess risk and provide tips related to return and guarantee policies when shopping online. Has the risk of providing tips related to return and guarantee policies? Policies? I don't know. When shopping online. Come on, let's do it. I need you to do it one more time, all of you guys. Assess risks and provide tips related to return and guarantee policies when shopping online. Assess and risk and provide tips related to return and guarantee when shopping online. Great. Volunteer, please. Thank you, Juan Carlos, for raising your hand. Go ahead. Yeah. Assess risk and provide tips related to return Related to return and guarantee policies. Policies. Policies when shopping online. Great. Now do it again, and let's make sure that we work with uh, we work with related and policies. Go. Asus is a provide tips related to <laughs> related to restaurant guarantee policies when shopping online. Okay. Give me a second. I'm gonna help you. Now, guys, whenever there's something that, of course, this is a new language, right? So we can have issues remembering pronunciation. This is something you can do. Here. Try to do it again, please. It's just with some provided related to return and guarantee for life 
when shopping online? Police or policies? Policies. <laughs> oh, okay, good, good, good. So, guys, I recommend you to do this. Thank you, Juan Carlos, for trying. That's the that's rule number one. Try. Great. Any vocabulary that is new right there, guys? Cases. Cases. Assess. <clears throat> the first Assess. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> no worries. It's like to evaluate. Ah, okay. To evaluate, pretty much. Mm -hmm. No other question as far as vocabulary? So, let's go ahead and continue, guys. Read with me, please. Do you always read the return and guarantee policies before buying items online? Do you no. always read the return and guarantee policies before buying items online? Have you ever returned a product you ordered online? Have you ever returned a product you ordered you order online? Order online? Mm -hmm. Good. I need two volunteers to read, please. Question one and two. Nice, Roxana and Celia. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's start. Do you always read the return and guarantee policies before buying items online? As a matter of fact, uh -huh. now I'm going to answer this question because you're going to okay. go to the breakout rooms and discuss it. Not okay. really, because I think that we are not used to reading the terms and, and conditions of anything. We just buy. Oh, I like it. I can afford it. That means that you can pay for it and you buy it. We don't have that culture. Right? And uh, second question, Celia? Have you, ever, have you ever returned a product you order online? Not really. Not online. I have actually returned products that I bought directly at the store, but because they were not working properly, right? So that's why I went to the, to the store and returned it. Now, I bought a skateboard many years ago when I was younger. And the thing is that I was skateboarding in the street and a car, this is a secret, okay? I'm, I haven't okay. never told this to anybody outside of my only record video. And <laughs> I was skating, and I lost control of my skateboard uh, of my skateboard while doing a trick, and a car ran over the skateboard. Right, so it got broken in two, in half. The thing is that I I know that this is not correct, but I was young, and I went to the store trying to return it. I said, "Hey, this is not working properly." And they were going to give it back. They were going to give me another yeah. one. But I didn't have the receipt. Yeah. Right? I didn't have the receipt, so they didn't give me another skateboard. I was going to make something very unprofessional, let's say. I know I was like 17, 18 years old. I don't know. And I think that life told me, don't do that, brother. Don't lie. So... I don't have experience with online things, but I can still talk about my life, guys, and that's what you are going to do, okay? So let's get into the breakout rooms, and I'm gonna give you between five to seven minutes for you to discuss it. Any questions? What questions are you gonna answer, guys? Yeah. This one. Uh, questions in, uh, let's we have to copy the questions. I'm gonna send it to the WhatsApp group, so you don't have to. Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, you. let's go ahead and accept the invite. Remember, if you haven't been there, if you haven't lived that, just go ahead and give your opinion. The thing is, talking. Okay. There we go. Accept the invite, please. Hey, Daniel, can you hear me? Oh, okay. Move. 
want Celia to break out room four. Three people, three people, two people, okay. Got it. They are complete now. Because I, I don't remember. Okay. Do the you always is, do, do you breathe always in a, okay. turn and guarantee policies before buying items online? Do you always read? Do you always read the returns and guarantee policy before buying items online? Guarantee. The stress mm -hmm. is in the last day. Guarantee. Guarantee. Uh, yes, I have never read those kind of, of policies and terms. Yes, I just buy what I wanted to buy. Okay. Yes, you're right. It is the semi-my case, like the teacher said. We we are not, we don't have that culture. If you if we like something, we just bought it, and it is really necessary to read those kind of uh, uh, tricky things because if you don't read it, probably if the products comes uh, working not good or working not properly, and you want to return it, maybe you can do it because you haven't read before about the policies and uh, guarantee things they uh, offer. Mm -hmm. And yeah. um, if you sorry. want to, for example, in my case, I never uh, returned something like that. I there have never ahead. returned anything. With negatives, we use anything. Okay. I haven't returned anything. And uh, I sent a message to all of you guys. It's not guarantee. I think that there's a mistake in the book. It's supposed to be warranty. Warranty? warranty? Mm -hmm. warranty okay. remember that warranty is the document right guarantee yes. is more like the commitment so i, I just noticed yes. that continue let me inform that to the rest you're doing okay. good and the, yeah the second question, question have you ever returned a product you ordered online in my case no because i never buy online if you haven't, <clears throat> then try to give your experience, like my skateboard experience. I didn't buy it online, but it's still an experience. Um, also okay. something that I forgot, I didn't notice until a few minutes ago, guys. It is not guarantee. It is not guarantee policies. It is warranty policies. Warranty. Mm -hmm. Remember warranty. that warranty is the document, the terms and conditions, and the guarantee is like more of the commitment of the company by honoring the warranty okay oh, sorry about that okay. thank you and um, for me no i never return any product mm. i guess i i have a good experience buying online and sometimes i accept maybe it's not what the, the product is not what I expect. Expected. But expected. Mm -hmm. But I accept it because I need it. <laughs> so uh, I I never return a product. But I I call when I'm not completely satisfied about a uh, thing. Okay. So you have never, no, guys. Maybe you evaluate in the. Uh -huh. good, good, good. Maybe sometimes uh, we can evaluate to the to the page of the store mm -hmm. online. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you can rate it, right? Ah, rate, rate it. it. Mm -hmm. Write it or yeah. Rate. But I never, I never did do did that. I've never done that. Nunca he hecho eso. I've I never. Uh -huh. I've, I've never. I've, Never done that. Good. Good. So never ever, not even a pupusa that is too burned on the sides or, you know, nothing. Like, like a smoothie that you didn't like because it, it didn't have sugar. So you have never returned anything in your life. Uh, I, I mean, I just can't believe it because it happens. Mm. That's the kind no, of thing I, that I need I, you to I, do, guys. I, I have a lot of friends that always complain about 
anything and I hate that. About everything. Because, because they you go to a restaurant and they never like satisfies with anything. So it's like the poor waitress is over there and they, I don't know, I hate that. Yeah, that, that that's a nice topic. All right, continue guys. Yeah. Let me check how the other ones are doing. Okay. Ernesto and you. I have as you as you said, Marcela, I never I never kept the box, the plastics, anything. And um, it start we start uh, using it and everything. Suddenly it doesn't work. He, he, and it was too weird for us because we never do anything strange with that. So when I was looking for the for the papers and everything, uh, I just uh, found the the receipt, yeah. the factura, mm -hmm. the receipt. Yeah, the receipt. Okay. And uh, and I called to the real mm. store and they so, told me that mm. I call, okay I called the the store and they told me that I need to bring to bring the box the plastics and everything and oh my god I started looking for it and I never found it so it happens exactly one day after the warranty expires expired so the the warranty was for a year it happened to me and the days the next day really? so, <laughs> yeah so for that and they when i call again they told me that the the spares spare is repuesto no yeah the spare part the spare part cost me more than if I do than in, than if I buy a new a new one than if I bought. Mm -hmm. So I I got really really mad and sad. So I never bought another one. I always save the boxes, plastic, everything from the things I bought, but. The, the things never fail. I, I do that with my cell phones. And um, I think that if someone uh, is going to do that, return something, I think that they have to present like a kind of receipt or, or, or you have to make a process like contact someone directly from the company, customer service or something like that. They are going to let you know the process and you have to i think send some proofs like receipt or or the product but um i'm not really familiar with that kind of processes and and i think that i have never returned something that i that i bought okay uh, shopping shopping in the store in the physical um in the store, in the store is better is better than shopping online because uh, in the store uh, I I I I can to to can without pedir. To, I can ask. I can I ask. can I can ask my devolver teacher. I can ask come come can Dep depends. No, I, depends. I, I, I can return. I, yeah. Return is the uh -huh. better. I can return. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Return my uh, my iron, and when is in when my shopping when I shopping online. When it's I easy shop difficult, online. Uh, when I shop online, mm -hmm. it's so difficult. Uh, they will bear the, the, the irons to return. It is so to difficult return. to return the item. To return the irons, the irons, okay. You Only see, that teacher. Good job, sir. I don't know why you tell me that you that you don't speak English, sir. You are doing it, so good job. Good job. Okay, Keep it up, okay, teacher. Let's go back to the yeah. break to the main room. Okay. All 
Alrighty, guys. So let me see. Welcome back. In about 15 seconds, the rest of the people is going to be here. All right. So I need a volunteer to answer the first question. Hey, guys. Welcome back. Now, little by little, people is coming back. And uh, I need a volunteer to answer the first question. Come on, just one. Out of 14 people I have today, just one. Who's the brave Me. person? Okay, Marcela. Guys, okay. what is the first question? Uh, do you always read the return and warrant people life policies uh -huh. before buying items online? There you go. So, go ahead and answer, Marisa, please. Okay. Thank you for volunteering. Um, the answer is no. <laughs> uh, I was telling my group that I, I look um, like the days that I had left, that I have left to the, uh, before the, the warranty expires. But mm -hmm. I, I don't read like all the policies and, and all the, like the little print. I, I, the small I print? The small, the small mm -hmm. print. I, I don't read it, and um, uh, I, I was telling my group that this year uh, I I had bought a laptop, and this year it, it stopped working. So I called uh, the company and all that. And they say they said that I had to bring the computer in the package in in the box. In the, the original package. The, uh -huh, yes, with the plastics and the how do you say? I don't know if, if that good, has a good translation. question. Good question. Mm -hmm. But all, all this stuff, and I, 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 I didn't keep it, so I, I was like, mm. so you and didn't keep the the the, the package. I, I didn't keep. Okay, okay. I didn't keep it, but my mom did. So, <laughs> lucky for me, my mom uh, did um, keep all the stuff. Okay. And she was like, oh, my salvation. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, and, and now uh, it's all um, fixed. Okay. But I, I don't. My answer is no. Got it. Well, luckily, luckily, and I'm going to give you that, uh, that vocabulary today, guys. Luckily, your mom kept it and you were able to, to, to get it back, right? Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you very much for volunteering yourself. Now, um, something that I want to mention, guys, is that in the question you have the word guarantee, but it's actually warranty. Do you guys remember that we talked about the difference between warranty and guarantee? Yes. Yes. Which one is the contract? The warranty. The warranty with terms and conditions. And which one is the, the, the commitment? Guarantee. The guarantee, that's right. All right, so I need one more person as volunteer to answer the second question. Come on, just one, just one, just one. Like I said, don't make me get the chicken out, guys. I, I have a pet, my pet is a chicken. And when nobody guarantees, I, I hear like, pop, 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 pop. <laughs> right? <laughs> Come on, rule number one, try. I like to try, but I never have returned anything. Then make it up. Then make it up, like my experience with a skateboard. So, let me ask you the question then. Thank you. Have you ever returned a product you ordered online or in a physical store? Online, no, but in a physical store, I try to return um, a pair of shoes mm -hmm. because they weren't my size. And all they asked was the ticket. And since I don't know if I lost the ticket or throw away the ticket, it ended up being my sister's shoes. Because they oh. were too big for me. Okay, well, that's a sad story. Yeah, for me, but not for her. <laughs> okay, makes sense. 
So uh, thank you very much, you know, Alison, for sharing. And uh, I want to share some vocabulary with you guys. Remember, I'm going to try to give you everything I have. I have it written right here. Just a second. Okay. How do you say afortunadamente? Luckily. Luckily. That's one. Yes. Luckily is one. Fortunately. Fortunately is the other one. That's right. I'm going to write it down. Luckily. Then we have, we have fortunately. Are these two positive or negative? Positive. Yes, it is. Okay. Now, how do you say milagrosamente? Miraculous. Mi miraculous. Miraculously. Say it with me, please. Miraculously. 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 Positive, Miraculous. negative, or either? Either. Be both. Can something miraculously be negative? Maybe. Something that you didn't want it to happen. Like, milagrosamente se murió. Que suerte. Oh, that's, that's me. Mm. No, something like, um, I don't know, you wanted to, to, to the um, weather mm -hmm. starts raining, so you don't have to connect to the class. But, oh, miraculously, it didn't happen. I don't know. Okay, so let's say that miraculously <laughs> is either or. All right. Now, what about sadly? Tristemente. Correct. Say with me, please. Sadly. Sadly. Positive, negative, or both? Negative. 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 That's right. Next one. Strangely. Strangely. Uh -huh. Strangely. Strangely. Uh -huh. It's like a sign. Synonym of weird. It's a synonym of weird. That's right. However, let me remind you of something, guys. That weird it is an adjective. This phone is weird. So with adjectives we describe nouns. Con los adjetivos nosotros describimos el noun. Right? Yep. Tall, short, fat, and there are different types of nouns. In, uh, about age, about origin, about shape, about color, about uh, what they are made of. So there are a lot of things. So an adjective describes a noun, okay? What is the, the, the function of an adjective, guys? Describe a noun. Exactly, so I am a teacher. I'm describing myself, okay? Now, adverbs, which is what we have right here, lovely, fortunately, miraculously, sadly, strangely, these are adverbs. And what an adverb does is, does anybody know? Modify the verb? They modify the verb, correct. They modify the verb. So if I tell you... Um, I played badly last night. Am I describing me or I am modifying the way I played? Way you play. the way you play. Modifying. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty much that what we use an advert for. So let's continue with the next one. Suddenly. suddenly. What is the meaning of suddenly? De repente. De repente. Repentinamente. Repentino. De presto in El Salvador. Is this positive, <laughs> negative, or both? It could both. be both. It could be both, right? Mm -hmm. For both scenarios. Surprisingly. Sorpresivamente. Sorpresivamente. Positive, negative, or both? Both. Both. Mm -hmm. It can be both, correct. Unexpectedly. Inesperadamente. Inesperadamente, correct. Positive, negative, or either. Both. Mm. Either. Both. Both. Either. Both. Both. It, can, it can be good or it can be bad. 
And then we have the last one, unfortunately. Desafortunadamente. Desafortunadamente. Uh, I made a mistake with the second Y. That's a typo. So disregard it. Positive, negative, or both? Negative. Negative. Okay. So these guys, what you normally do is that you join two ideas. So I can tell you, for example, I was walking down the street when luckily I found a $20 bill. Great. Super happy, right? <laughs> Something positive. Yeah. I was okay. walking down the street when unfortunately um, I lost my phone. Oh, $20 bill. Bad. Bad. Terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's right. I was driving when suddenly someone crashed my car. Mm, sad. Sadly. So you can use this to join two ideas. All right? Very good. So in Alison's case, unfortunately, because you can use it at the beginning too, unfortunately, she kept the shoes for her sister, not for her. Yeah. Right? And with Marcela's scenario, miraculously, her mother kept the packaging. She's the same. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So this is what I wanted to do, guys. Um, I wanted to work a little bit always with the topic, you know, make it up and try to give me one sentence each, please. So for example, one sentence with luckily, one with fortunately, miraculously, or you know what? So we can make it faster. Choose five. Out of the new vocabulary that I have given to you, choose five and create examples applied to the topic that we are we have to cover by in support. Any questions? I love that question. I mean, this <laughs> that time. All right, guys, go ahead and accept the invite. You're gonna choose five. You're gonna choose five words and create five for uh, for all for all the. Group. Oh, in the group? In groups, yeah. Five okay. for the whole group. So if you are a, a, pe a group of five people, you can do one each. All right, go ahead and accept it. I'm going to be visiting you soon. Uh, and, and then, teacher, what was, what was the topic? The topic it's is, about returning. It's about returning items. Okay. All right, let's rock it, guys. Hey, hey, what's up? <clears throat> How are you doing? Fine, thank you. I'm, I'm waiting for them. Okay. So, with the words that you that you teach us right now? That you taught us in past. You taught, taught you in the past. Taught us. Teach. Okay. Mm -hmm. You taught us. Okay. Yep. So you're going to choose five. Of, of those words mm -hmm. and you're gonna give five examples with today's topic like sentences or mm -hmm. yeah. yeah sentences is fine okay uh, i don't know if <clears throat> daniel you are you are muted you are muted so i <laughs> no worries. I, I sorry, think... sorry. Oh. Okay. I I suddenly I suddenly I uh, I suddenly buy a new car. This is good, teacher. 
Yes, but normally you're going to have two. Like, for example, two scenarios. I was, I was uh, buying something when suddenly, right? So normally you have two because you have to join two sentences. And you can work with past continuous, for example, and simple past. I was trying to return the item. Unfortunately, I couldn't. To give you an idea. Okay, so uh, with, with the car example, we, we could use, um, I was buying a, a car, I was buying a car, when suddenly somebody stole my wallet. There you go, there you go, yeah. whatever it is. Yeah. Try to make it related to, you know, oh, the, to sorry. this tip, <laughs> but yes, you got it. Okay. Okay, um, I was... What's the problem is that the, you have to uh, put or you have to yeah put your battery small with your, space. no the problem is I didn't do that in the in the in the supermarket okay, they have their own uh, their own um, technicians or mechanics so oh, okay. I had to do that with their own mechanics not by myself and oh, okay. and that's what they said so I can I can give you your money back and also the time has by. Uh, the time has had passed. Like the warranty had expired? The warranty had expired. So they, they said, I can give you um, a new one. So then I, I tried to, to go to the LTH store and I explained them. I explained them. To them? I explained to them that uh, I was um assessorado teacher. ¿Cómo se dice? Mm, I was instructed by, instructed I, by. I was no. instructed. I like the fact that you are talking, but are you working on the sentences? Yeah, and um, yes. Okay, uh, good. Are you, see, are you missing some adverbs? In the, okay, good, uh, good. Remember that mm -hmm. here you're going to have two ideas. I was doing, you can use past continuous if you want, more recommended. Past continuous and simple past. I was trying to get a refund of my battery. And sadly, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. Always apply to the topic, choose five. Continue, guys. All right. Okay, thank uh, you. And well. I explained them, right? <clears throat> that the battery, I was through The website, I saw a closet very expensive. A very expensive closet. A very expensive closet. Mm -hmm. And it was strangely. It was? Strangely. Mm. Ah, okay. Here you can join them together. I recommend you to use past continuous and then simple past. I was buying a very expensive closet mm -hmm. when, strangely, and then you say whatever you wanted to say. Then strangely. I forget with the last part. When, oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. Uh, when a strangely look at the price. Yeah, I was. Okay. Uh, expensive process. When strangely, um, look the fake website. Look a, okay. A fake uh, website. Is that okay with the context? Or to help you a little, uh huh. Or I realized the website was fake. Ah, okay. You can say I was going to buy, for example, y lo iba a comprar cuando extrañamente me di cuenta que la página web era falsa. Good. Okay. Continue with that. Remember, you're gonna choose five. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Continue, girls. ideas right 
Mm -hmm. Oh, we can use it at the beginning. He said that we can use it at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, teacher, we can use unfortunately at the beginning. Yes. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Remember that normally you use this to join two ideas, as, as you were saying, Roxana, when I came. Um, normally you can use something in past continuous and then simple past. Right? Okay. So I was watching something on this website when luckily I realized it wasn't what I wanted, for example. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're going to choose five. How many do you have right now? Four. four. Okay. So four. you're four. almost four. <laughs> almost four. All right. Almost four. <laughs> Keep it up. Remember to apply it to today's topic if possible. That's the challenge. Yeah. yeah. Uh, All right. Doesn't fit me. Doesn't uh, don't fit me. But luckily for my brother, the shit fit him, so he kept the the shirt. Mm. Okay. Luckily him. <laughs> yeah. That's all. Oh, that's a vocabulary, guys. That's a lucky strike or lucky break. Lucky Either break. or. Mm -hmm. Como un golpe de suerte. Okay. Chiri, pum. Lucky strike or lucky break. Uh, please uh, say it to the group when you go back. How many sentences do you have? We have six, right? Two for each one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so six. Yep. Okay, so you're done. Let me just go ahead and check one more group and then we go back to the main room. In the meantime, mm -hmm. Keep on talking about your experiences. Oh, I really like that shirt. And my brother has it now. Or I didn't like that shirt. So it's okay. Just keep on talking about it. Practice makes perfect. Okay. Okay, thank you. Hey, girls. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Finishing. Now I see, I see you very dedicated to, to the things. <laughs> How many sentences do you have? Uh, five already. Five. Okay. Great. Any questions about this? About how to use these type of phrases? Mm. No. No. All right. <laughs> Remember that normally you're gonna be joining two things. So, for example, I was traveling or applied to the topic. I was buying a hammock when. Sadly, I realized I didn't have my credit card on me, for example. Do we have to use um, when before the, um, like, the adverb. adjective? It's adverb, sorry. Uh -huh, it's an adverb. I would recommend you so, to use it. Ah, okay. teacher, because, because... We were using and, and southern, suddenly, and sadly it's fine it's fine normally you're gonna use that okay the thing is this girls even though this is vocabulary it has its use right so you can say something like uh, sadly the first sentence and the other sentence because mm -hmm. okay? you can play with them those are separate clauses normally when you use them at the end the, so word, uh, sentence, end sentence. But when you normally use it at the beginning, for example, um, in the middle, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting all confused. In the middle, you use when. Mm, for example, sorry, mm, teacher. Normally, normally, because end is okay. It is accepted, don't worry about it. But I would recommend you to use when. Um, let me okay. see. I was eating cake when, right? I was eating cake when, comma. Um, give me one. When it started to rain. When, but but the words that I gave you. Oh, when sad, suddenly. When suddenly, I was eating cake when suddenly my brother pushed my face against the cake. <laughs> Right. It was a birthday party. <laughs> okay. So, 
don't worry. We're gonna we're gonna double check it right now because we gotta uh, take attendance, and after that, I'm gonna answer all of your questions. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so people is starting to come back. And uh, we got them all. Okay, guys, before we continue, I'm gonna start taking attendance, all right? In just a minute. So, remember everybody with your cameras on, please, when taking attendance, Ana Maria Mazoquins Rivera. No, okay. Andrea del Carmen Martinez Aragón. No. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba. Javi. No. Daniel Edgardo Canizales Ventura. Present, present. Okay, I see you. Present. I see you. <clears throat> All right. Gladys Idalia Melendez Hernandez. Present. Okay, good. Uh, remember to keep your full name in the in the name, Gladys, if possible. Okay. Mm -hmm. Aldo Sadi Castro. Present. See you. Eric Arnaldo Celaya Ayala. Present. I see you too. Ernesto Antonio Castillo Campos. Present. Okay, I see you. Thank you. Amy Melissa Rosa Palacios. Present. See you. David Orlando Nerio. David Orlando Nerio. He said he said that he can't connect because he's at work. Mm, okay, thank you very much. Para recordar en Ford, David Orlando Nerio comunicó que no se puede comunicar porque está en el trabajo. Thank you, Aldo. Marcela Beatriz López Pira. Present. Thank you. Roxana Domitiles Ríos de Quiñones. Present. I see you. Juan Carlos García Laínez. Present. See you too, JC. Beatriz Adriana Martínez Marino. Present. See you too. Abner Alexis Martínez Rivas. Present. See you, brother. Morena Guadalupe Melara Cruz. Present. See you too. Alison Isabel Ayala Alfaro. Present. Got it. Celia Carmina Pileda Avalos. Present. Mm -hmm. Karen Elin García Benítez. Creo que la vi hace un segundo. Karen García Benítez. Ah, ahí está sacudiendo el lapicero. Ok, ya, yeah, no lo veía porque está en miedo. But yeah, I see. Ya la veo. Sara Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz. Ok, para recordar esa for, Sara se conectó. Pero al parecer está teniendo problemas con la, con la aplicación porque se tuvo que, de, que desconectar. Pero sí la vi y puso mensajes en el chat. Alrighty, guys. So, let's go ahead and continue. Thank you very much for that. Examples, please, real quick. Hmm. Hey guys, what's up? What's up with you I today? Have uh, one. Do you feel uncomfortable? Do you feel that you're gonna mess it up? What's up with your confidence, guys? Like I always say, try. If you're gonna make a mistake, go ahead. That's what you're here for. I make mistakes Daniel. too. Me, Daniel. Me, Daniel. So there you go, Daniel. Okay. I was buying a pair of shoes and suddenly closed the store. And suddenly the store. Closed. Oh, okay, mm -hmm. the store. Yes, but yes, I liked it. Um, as far as a question that I think that Amy yes. and who else? Amy, Karen, and and one more person had. Instead of using when, I would recommend you to use when instead of end. 
but they are both possible. Okay? Very good. Next volunteer. Thank you, Daniel. Okay. Me? Bea? Okay. Luckily, in my package came two cell phones and a and I ordered just one. Okay, great. I liked it. Let's just go ahead and fix the things. Luckily. Okay, pause. I'm going to explain this real quick, guys, because it tends to be confusing. And I'm going to do it in Spanish. Cuando nosotros estamos escribiendo, hay algo que se llama sentence structure. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, prácticamente la gramática es, entre comillas, sencilla, porque siempre tenemos el orden sujeto, Verbo complemento. Eso es todo. Teacher, pero es que tienen la auxiliar have been y yo me confundo así, pero al final no deja de ser un auxiliar. Right? So, sujeto, verbo complemento. Nosotros en español mezclamos las cosas. Vinieron dos paquetes. Por ejemplo, say it again, please, Beatriz. Ok. Luckily, in my package came to, pa to cell phones. And in, I ordered this one. Good. In my package came two cell phones. Okay. En mi paquete vinieron dos teléfonos. Español. Okay. So, me alegra que salgan estas cosas porque las podemos atacar. Entonces, siempre, ¿cuál es la estructura que les dije? Sujeto, verbo, complemento, independientemente del tiempo. So, ¿de quién estamos hablando? Who are we talking about? Mm -hmm. en, esa, en esa oración, en that sentence, who are we talking about? Okay. Two cell phones. Two cell phones, vea. Ese es nuestro sujeto de quien estamos hablando. Now, ¿cuál es el verbo? Game. 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 ¿Y el complemento? In, In my package. package. Mm -hmm. package. Entonces, ya cambiamos de in my package came to cell phone, que sería español, a two cell phones came in my package. Right? Eso manténgalo bien presente, guys, que siempre va sujeto, verbo, complemento. Y les voy a dar otro, otro tip. Si en el complemento ustedes tienen, a veces nosotros podemos decir, fui con mis primos al cine. Ok, eso es muy común en español. Fui con mis primos al cine. Si quieren, hasta anótela. En español, ¿cómo se dijera? I went with my cousins to the movie, to the movies, or I went to the movies with my cousins. I went to the movies with my cousins. Exactly. We have to keep that balance. Tenemos que mantener ese balance. Si ustedes dicen, yo fui, lo que tienen que escribir en la oración es, ¿dónde? Ya después ustedes pueden poner con quién, a qué horas, etcétera. Eso ya es parte del complemento. Si dicen yo comí, tienen que poner, ¿qué creen que van a poner? I ate. Ate. I you ate, right? Lo que se comieron. Yo canté, ¿qué cantaron? Yo le pegué, ¿a quién se sonaron? Right? Yo estudié, ¿qué estudiaron? Siempre tiene que ir y luego cuándo, dónde, a qué horas, todo eso es parte del complemento. So remember, guys, subject, verb, complement. And the verb is going to tell you what you're going to write next. Okay? So, say it again, Adriana, but fixed. Pero arreglada ahora. Luckily, two cell phones came in my package and I ordered just one. There you go, girl. Excellent. There's a big difference. Good job. Next volunteer. Me, Amy. Uh -huh. Go ahead, and Amy, and then Karen. Mm -hmm. My mom received her new phone, and it was broken. Sadly, we couldn't return it. Good. I liked it. My mother received... El qué? Her new her phone. New. Right? And it was broken. Sadly, subject, we couldn't return it. Great. Liked it. Karen, help me, please. I, uh, unexpectedly, I ordered a package two weeks ago. And I received my product with an extra bonus. Okay. Nice. 
an extra bonus. Excellent. I liked it. And uh, let me see two more and then we change topic. Come on, guys. You got this. I have one that uh, we did it with Bea, but we did it at the at the end of the the break room when we had to return to the to the, the main, main room. meeting. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And and we we said we were working on the sentences. Unfortunately, we couldn't finish it. Fun. Fantastic. <laughs> great, great, great example. I liked it. So you see, you guys can do it. The last one, the last one, the last one, the last one, the last one. Let's go. Okay. Go ahead, Marcel. Okay. Um, I was going to return a shirt, but sadly the warranty expired. Okay. What were you going to return? A shirt. A shirt. Oh, okay. Yes. Excellent. I liked it. So I really hope this vocabulary is useful, guys. Everybody, do you guys have the book? Yeah. Yes, yes I have it. Get yeah. it ready because we're going to use it right now. Today, we're going to practice our reading skills. And why I'm not going to do it with you? Because I wanted to practice your reading and comprehension. Okay. So... We're going to go to page 21. And in page 21, you're going to be reading this article and answering these questions. Okay? So, what page, guys? 21. 21. 21. 21. What exercise? Two. Number two. Two. So, read with me, please. Read the following posts and tips from a forum online. Read the following posts and tips from a forum online. Discussing return and guarantee policies, which is warranty. Discussing return and guarantee policies. Warranty policies, correct. Then check the right answer for the questions below. Then check the right answers for the questions below. Mm -hmm. Good. And you're going to be answering these questions based on this reading material. All right. Does everybody have the book already? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Great. Let's go ahead and accept the, the, the invite. Let's go back to the breakout rooms. Okay, I have to add Eric. Okay, let's do it, guys. Hey, Amy, did you get the invite? Hello, hello. It's too slowly. Amy, can you, uh, can you share please the, the book? Um, let me try because I'm in my cell phone. I'm let me on, try. on my cell phone. On my cell phone. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Mm -hmm. see. Patrice is yeah. not here, right? Okay. Night.
I'm taking notes of the people because we got breakout rooms today and I'm checking if there's anybody from this group, but I don't think so. <laughs> no, luckily enough, you don't have to be there today. <laughs> but, More, next Wednesday, your turn. Karen, yeah, next. next Wednesday is your turn too. Mm, well, I'm you going to, to be asleep yet at that time. I know, <laughs> but like uh, one of the Avengers movie when, movies, when they talk to the Hulk, that's my secret. I'm always sleepy. So I want to share that with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Were you able to? Unit two. Yes. Unit two, page 21. 21. 2021. 20, mm -hmm. I got it. Let me Thank see. you. I have it. All right. Thank you, girl. And in your vocabulary, help each other, all right? Okay. We have to read oh, in this case the, the screen. You, okay, so you're gonna click on the green icon that says share. You need to have the document oh, yeah. open, right? So share, yeah. Yeah. select the document, share. Pantalla. Just wanna make sure you're able to share it before I leave. In this case, no, what I'm doing. there you're almost there. Uh huh. Question. Uh, we are. Uh, we just Something? are reading. Yes, reading. I... Mm -hmm. Reading yep. the questions or reading the whole paragraph. Reading the whole paragraph and answering the questions at the bottom. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. One, two, three, and tips for shopping online. That's right. It's a lot. Am I sharing my, my screen now? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. It says oh, no, no, I guess the correct answer is incompatibility issues. Because it's a not sure whether they were faulty or just not suiting my song card. So I guess the answer is incompatibility issues. Yeah, I think that was true. Yep. Because it's like when uh, when you try to install something on your computer and it doesn't work because the... It's for a 32 version and you have the... 64 bit. Yep. Yeah, something like that almost. Or because the... Uh, I can't remember the, the, the word. What is it about? Perhaps I can help you. Uh, when you install something on your laptop or your PC, on your computer, and uh, and it doesn't work, n not only because about the system, if it's 32 bytes or 64, it's another word. Because you have an update update the system the programs it is not compatible perhaps no el controlador el controlador oh. del, 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 de la de la parte que está comprando no es no está actualizado entonces hay que hay que buscar los controladores en internet y ahí esa es la otra parte que estaba que estaba yeah. De decir yeah 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 I got you I got you I'm trying to remember that thing the drivers. Drivers, exactly. Mm -hmm. The drivers, that's right. Okay. Well, uh, the, for the fourth question of how long did it take for the customer in 
paragraph three to receive the refund? Two months. Yeah. Teacher, we're not clear if the first question, the answer is the first one or the second one. No, also, uh -huh. And I think is the first one. And Gladys thinks is the second one. Try to jump to a conclusion. Okay. And explain why. The thing is for you to be able to, you know, debate, explain your reasons, etc. Okay. All right. Anything? You let me know. Okay. Guarantee gave them to purchase a new product or service. Right. Oh, let me. And the second, a right guarantee give to the purchase I a new product or a service, I think. Yes, I think that is that. Let me. All right, guys, uh, while you're doing that, yeah? fr friendly reminder, both of you um, are required to be in the private sessions today. Okay. Yes. Ah, yeah. Yes. Just for you to uh, what time? Roxana, you go from, I already uh, wrote it in the chat. But hey. As a reminder, from 10.10 to 10.20, Roxana. Oh, me? Yes. Oh, great. And <laughs> JC, 10.20 to 10.30. You 10 can think 20. of the, uh, 10 10 20, 10 30, okay. Good. You can think of the questions, and, and if you already have the question, send it to me. All right? Mm -hmm. I, mean, perhaps, I don't have the question. Then think about it. I have to have to questions. Yes, any questions about uh, the topics okay. we have covered or English itself? Okay, thank you. All right, start thinking about it. Thank you, guys. Continue. Um, September 14, I don't know. Uh huh, exactly. exactly. How are you doing, guys? Uh, we finish. All right, um, great. Thank you. Now that you have finished Abner, it's your turn today to be part of the private sessions. Yeah, uh, 10, 1040. 1040 to 1050, nice. Um, okay. If you have any kind of questions about the topics we have covered, then start thinking about it. And if you have it before your time, send it to me okay. so I can get your answer ready. Okay? okay, thank you. All right, in the meantime, guys, I just gotta check. We got no more than nine minutes. Uh, continue like discussing if you didn't agree completely on something try to reach an agreement all right try to discuss any new vocabulary etc all right all right okay. thank you guys thank you teacher um bro defectuoso will be faulty defectuoso yeah hey, teacher what is a uh, sound card <laughs> what is the letter to Sound card. Sound mm -hmm. card. That's pretty much a, a, it's a it's a device or a gadget that you use on your computer. It's like a USB. It depends. I'm not pretty sure. I think that it depends on the computer, but that's an internal part of a computer. La oh. tarjeta de sonido. So mm -hmm. normally okay. they already have a built-in sound card. And if, for example, you like gaming, you can upgrade to a better to a better one. Okay. All right. Um, before you, I have a question for you. Uh, I hope I have an and answer. It... <laughs> Sorry. Should be. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is the correct pronunciation of um? It, it's refund or refund. 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 Mm -hmm. Refund. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. I was it's, not it's... sure about that. Yeah, you're, you're going to hear people saying refund. Yeah, in my job, I heard that. Yeah, Some people the, says refund and others says refund. refund. So I'm, I have that though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it is refund. Refund, refund. okay. Okay. All right. And uh, Beatriz Adriana Marcela Merino, I have good news for you. Um, you're going to be required to be in one of our private sessions today from 1030 to 1040. Yes. Okay. Do you already have uh, the questions you're going to ask? Right now or in the... No, no, uh -huh. but do you, have you thought about it? Uh, yes. Okay, 
Great. So whenever you have the chance, send them to me so I can get your answer ready. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, have you finished already? Yeah. Yes. Yes, right. it is. We finished. Good. In this case, let me just check one more group. In the meantime, keep on working. If there's any new vocabulary, if you didn't agree with something, then try to reach an agreement. Okay. Okay. Quickly, I, quickly, I, I stay, I stay desconcertado. Confused? No, no. I, yeah. I, have, I have two daughters. Mm -hmm. and quickly, ellas me, me, me aturden, por decirlo así. Están jugando y toda la cuestión. Overwhelm. 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 They overwhelm okay. me. Ajá. Eh, Marcela says me. Told eh, me. She, Marcela told me. Eh, she worked eh, at the, uh, como maestra de parvularia. Oh, as a preschool teacher. Ah, yeah, yeah, yes. Eh, eh, por eso le comento yo que tengo dos niñas y rápido me desconciertan. ¿ves? ¿Eh? Hi. <laughs> yeah. You, you, a lot of patience is required. All right, you finished, guys? Okay. Yes, yeah. yes, 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 teacher. Great. Just wanted to double check. And um, Marcela Beatriz. Yes. You are required to be in the private sessions today. You're going to be the first victim volunteer and mm -hmm. uh, from 10 to 10 10. So okay. if you already have the questions, send them to me so I can get your answer ready as soon as I can. Okay. If not, don't worry. Yeah. Tell me whenever we get there. Okay. okay. All right. Let's go back. Okay, teacher. We're ready. Okay, teacher. Thanks. All right. We're, we'll be getting the people back in a few minutes. Okay, guys, so most of, most of you are back. Let's go ahead and start working with this. Uh, I'm not gonna stop that much in this because of what's coming. So who has the answers of number one? I need a volunteer. A return policy is? Yeah. Me, Karen. Me? Oh, okay, Karen. Okay, um, I am, this is the thing guys, and I want to apologize with you. Whenever I am sharing something, I cannot see you all at the same time, okay? So if you want to participate, sometimes I, I saw that Aldo was raising his hand, but then I heard someone else, you know, like Karen, for example. So if you want to participate, you can raise your hand in case I see you and write immediately mention your name. Okay, because I got a bit toggle in between, between screens. So my apologies, Aldo, that I didn't see you first. Um, go Good ahead, morning. Karen. A return policy is the process a customer follows to ship previously purchased merchandise back to the store. Okay, so you're saying it is this one? Yes, number one. Got it. Now, does everybody have the same? Yes. yes, we have that answer. Yes. Mm. Does anybody have a written guarantee given to the purchaser of a new product or service? No? Good. Volunteer for number two, please. Me, Roxana. Thank you, Roxana. How many days does the store in paragraph one provide for returns? Mm -hmm. 14 days. Do you guys agree? Yes. Yes, I, I yes. agree. I All right. Agree. Fantastic. Number three, please. Hey, Morena. Go ahead, Morena. What was the reason the consumer returned his purchase in paragraph number two? Mm -hmm. In this case, faulty product. Do you guys agree? Yes. Yes. Yes, I agree. Yeah. Good. Yes. What is the meaning of uh, faulty? Mm -hmm. I think based on wanted product. Faulty. 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 Faulty.
Damaged. That's Damaged. right. Like not working properly. Correct. Number four, a volunteer, please. Uh huh. Hey, Daniel. Thank you, Daniel. Uh, how long did it, did it take for the customer in paragraph three to receive the phone? To in receive the refund. Two months. To Say receive the refund. Refund. The refund. That's right. Do you guys agree okay. with the two months? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I agree. All righty. Very good. Guys, any new vocabulary that you have found? For me, it was faulty. <laughs> okay. But I check it. Got it. So it's clear now. Yeah. Um, Anybody else? Um, sound recorded, uh, or I'm not sure if that is the correct pronunciation. Which one? Uh, faulty or just not um, read it? What is the pronunciation of that word? What paragraph is it? One, two, three. Uh, number two. Tip? Number two. When Second says, one. uh huh, they were faulty or just not. Oh, not suited. Suited, suited is like, oh, for suited. example, like uh, suited. Fits. Suited. Suited. Mm -hmm. suited. Not suited for my. Oh. Not suited to my sound card. That means it's not compatible. It is not made for that. Oh, okay. It is not made for that. Mm -hmm. Good. Any anything else as far as vocabulary? Okay, guys. Hey, listen. Um, I bought this phone and I want to return it because I I don't know. It is slower than I thought. Would you mind giving me some advice, or what tips can you give me for this? check their return policy oh uh you know what i don't think i have the return policy you can you call have to how long you have, you have to the item well i don't know how long i have but i actually bought this uh five days ago do you think that i can still change it or return yeah, it yeah. yes Maybe. Do you have the receipt about the product receipt or other paperwork? Yeah, I, I think I do. I think I do have the okay. receipt. You have to. Did, did you keep the, where do you buy? The, uh, where did I did I keep did I keep? Remember, article did keep. Uh, article found. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Auxiliary did. It's already in part. It's been a long day. My apologies. So, uh, you keep the, on the other item, items on there? I think so. When you bought it? I think so. And somebody asked me uh, where I bought it. I bought it in in El Bajemeso downtown. So, you think I could return it? <laughs> no, please. No, you don't. Keep. No, why not? Suck it up. <laughs> Suck it up. Okay. Yeah, but I think El Bajemeso, El Agachón, and all of those stores downtown are very serious, don't you think? No. No. Oh, they they don't. Downtown. I don't Dot think com. so. They don't have a return policy. Oh, <laughs> man. I should have asked for a return policy. Maybe they, they are going to ask you for more money. Oh, you think so? Maybe. Yeah. Do you think they want to rip me off? Yes. Do you know? Do, do you guys know that what is the meaning of rip off? <laughs> a rip off is a scam. Uh -huh. So rip oh. me off. Me querían estafar. Do you think they want to rip me off? Maybe. Something like that. Maybe. How, how many <laughs> did you they pay for that? They just don't want. Ah, they how did. much? How much did you pay? Uh -huh. Now, Mostly good advice, guys. Remember that many, we're going to use it for things that we can count, right? And much, we're going to use it for things that we cannot count. So I have a question. Can we count money? Yes, we can. Pues no es cierto. Okay. No, no, it's with how, how much money you earn. We can't, we can't, we can't count bills. We can count bills. How do you say moneda? 
but not coin. coin. Oh. <laughs> but not coin. Moneda local. How do you say that? Mm. Currency. 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 Exactly. Currency. So currency like dollars, quetzales, lempiras, euros. We can count. I have five dollars. I I had fifty colones back in the day, and I felt like a millionaire. Right now, it's nothing. But I cannot say, hey, can you lend me five money? Right? No. So the word money, it is countable in English, in Spanish, but it is not in English. So how much did I pay? Um, I paid $25 for this. So I... You shouldn't expect oh, so much. <laughs> So you're saying this is a cloned phone. Ah, uh, no wonder it says Huawei with J as in Jack. Okay, that's why. Okay. Huawei with J as in Jack. Huawei with J. Sure? Or it's an iPhone that you Huawei. can that you can restart taking off the. No, it says it says Huawei with J. With J. So no. Well, guys, what recommendations would you give me if I want to buy something with a return policy? To read the little print, the small print. But in the, in in the Lagachon, they don't have that. Oh, they don't so give don't you buy there. Don't buy it. Or where would you recommend me to buy? Hmm. In a trustable in a reliable store. store. Okay, all right. Okay. You okay. need to read the reviews before. Nice, nice. Ooh. So I gotta buy in a in a trustable place. Yeah. Read the reviews. Make a com compare two different cell phones and if you got two options, okay. compare them so you can know which one is better than the other one. Oh, okay. Got it. So, guys, uh, <laughs> this is what we're going to do, okay? Thank you very much for your advice. Remember, can we say advices? No. Nope. Irregular plural. Thank you for your advice overall. So this is what you're going to do right now. Um, as you notice, I just started talking. One thing, one opinion led me to something else, and then to another question, and then to another question. Those are follow-up questions. Now, let me ask you, did we create the conversation, or we just improvised as a group? Improvised. We improvised. So make it up. You got nine minutes. I wanted to talk about like the same way I did, talking, 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 ask for advice, ask what happened. Oh man, don't, don't buy in El Baje Meso. They don't have a return policy, man. You should have, and then you start. When we come back at 9.45, I'm gonna be asking random people to, well, the, the people that already talked to, right? For the same groups. I'm gonna ask them to improvise in front of all of them. Any questions? Hmm. I don't know what yes, we what do. We do. do. <laughs> what? Pues hombre, tío. Now, I wanted to improvise a conversation like the one I had with you. Always related to the topic, right? Always related to return policies, which is today's topic, right? And then you just improvise. Okay? No me vayan a tragar por ahí. Very good. So let me go ahead and open up the break rooms, the breakout rooms. <laughs> and um, this is todo, guys. Mira, fíjate que me compré esto, no sé qué, y lo quiero devolver. Ah, no, hombre, ¿dónde lo compraste? En tal lugar, en el centro. No sé, así como compras en el centro, ahí no tienen return policy. ¿Y qué me recomendas? Que no compres ahí. Mejor andar a tal lugar porque ahí tienen tal cosa. ¿O qué compraste? Like in Spanish. Improvise it. But obviously, in English. Yeah. Accept it. See you at 9.45. Goodbye. Says. 
Okay. You okay. moved me. I did. <laughs> okay, because Jay-Z was talking about <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's teletransportation. Okay, you know. great. <laughs> I have a it's new possible. power. <laughs> All right, keep it up. You can be buying a teletransportation machine. Just use your imagination. I'll be right back, guys. Give me a second. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you. Okay. Hi. So, so we have like to, to improvise. Yes. Conversation. Yes. Cualquier cosa. Yeah, like a cell phone, maybe. We can talk about um, buy some cell phone. Okay. And what kind of okay. cell phone do you have? I, I, I need to buy a new cell phone because my... Okay. my... This is Patito Cell. <laughs> what? <laughs> A pito cell phone. No, it's no. very precious <laughs> to me. Ah. <laughs> okay, but okay. I need a new cell phone because right now it's broken. So oh. I'm going to buy Sorry it for at, that. The, at the, at the, I don't know, maybe a uh, where do you recommend it to buy a new cell phone? But I need okay. it to be cheap. How much money do you have? Not too much. <laughs> if you go like um, in a mall, there's yeah. there's these like kioscos. That yeah, the little stores, right? What? Uh, my screen. The little. Uh -huh. stores? Like the little stores in the malls, um, yeah. maybe you can find a, a cheap cell phone in there because if you go like um, to to a Siman or Tigo, maybe they they, so will, expensive. Be, they will be expensive. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, yes. great idea. And you think that in that places they have like a guarantee or mm -hmm. or a police return? Return policy. Return policy. Return policy uh -huh. If the cell phone doesn't work right, maybe in some of those places, maybe. But you could like ask them for a, for a warranty, like a greeting warranty. Written. Written. Written warranty. Nice. If you want long duration, uh. You can buy some expensive one time and you have your product for a long time. Okay, that is a good advice. And yeah. do you think that I, that I can order online those, the, the, my CD player? I think that with, with those products, I think that with electronic products, you should go to a physical store. Electronic devices. Oh, electronic devices. <laughs> you scare me. <laughs> so I think, or I can recommend you to go to an to a physical store if you want to buy um, an electronic device. I mean, I think in a physical store you can test it. Is that the correct word? Or prove it. Mm. So, uh, yeah, to test it, you can say, yeah, test it. I can say, okay, I think that in a physical store, you can test it. Um, even there are some kind of devices that they have, like in, that they have in like a certain kind of exhibition or something like that. And you can um, use it. Mm -hmm. You can try it. You can try, you can try it. it. You can try to use it. And maybe it's like, more um, secure to you because you uh, know that the product is new, that it's, I mean, in a secure place. Customer, because I don't get the idea very well right now. I think that okay. Aldo can, can tell the story. 
Yeah, if you okay. want, if don't explain me. Okay, you're just about to start. Yeah. They've been talking uh, a lot. <laughs> okay, as long as you were talking in English, then that's fine. You got yeah. one minute. Go for it. Okay. Okay, okay uh, let's see. Um, Alison, uh, nice to see you again. Uh, can you join mm -hmm. me or can you uh, give me some advice? I, I, I heard uh, an offer on, on, the, on the downtown on take and run for the yeah. cell phones. Uh, what do you think? Well, I think you need to check, uh, write the information of, of what you're going to buy, if they have a return policy or a warranty at least. But it's a huge, it, it's a huge offer on the on the downtown, and I don't think downtown. that they have a downtown downtown. Yeah, and I don't think that they have a. Alrighty, guys, welcome back. Thank you very much. Let's go ahead and take attendance real quick. The last part. One moment. Here it is. Just to double check, Ana Maria Marroquino Rivera. No. Nope. Andrea del Carmen Martinez Aragón. No. Nope. Javier Rodrigo Ayala Córdoba. Okay. David Orlando Nerio. No. Working. Oh, working, yeah, you told me, right? And Sarah Elizabeth Ruiz Ortiz, que estuvo teniendo problemas con, con la aplicación. Alrighty, guys, so, two volunteers. Abner, thank you for raising your hand. So you and your partners, go for it. Improvise. Hey, JC and Ernesto. Yeah. Okay. Go, you got two minutes. Okay, I start. I say the the Abner Ernesto. Uh, I pay for get a uh, YouTube Premium, for example. Presented, presented uh, like, like you're talking to him. Later, uh, I unfortunately uh, I forget to unsubscribe him, and then my credit card will was charged one more time. Uh, I say because uh, YouTube Premium, I don't like it. I I don't know where you recommend it. Okay. All right, and I recommend you to put a claim, ask for your money for a refund, uh -huh. and, to file uh, a claim. To file a to file a claim and ask for a refund. Maybe they can give you your money or let you continue watching for free this month. Maybe that would be my suggestion. Okay, okay. In my case, I suggest I suggest that usually when you add your credit card number, always the companies share your credit card. Uh, you, in my case, that I think that you need to unsubscribe uh, quickly. Okay, thanks. I would try. Okay, you still got 50 seconds. I will try to advise and unsubscribe and to put uh, the claims. I try to to perform my, my money. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna file. Guys, remember you file, file claims. The file claims. File claims. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Continue. What? <laughs> you said 20 seconds. 20 what? seconds. Okay. Not recommend uh, subscribe with uh, YouTube Premium. Uh, I don't recommend you. I don't recommend. To subscribe. To subscribe to YouTube Premium. It's a little, have a, a few serious and it's, it's not, it's not good. 
<laughs> okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Uh, sometimes two minutes might think like nothing, but when you're talking English, it's a lot. All right? And I know it. So that's why I'm pushing you to do your best. Oh, Celia, you, thank you. You and your group, Celia. Rock it. Why? Why? Uh, because why you were raising me? your hand. <laughs> you were raising no, the hand. I okay. <laughs> I was doing okay. Si ya saben cómo soy, para que me eso. All right, continue. Here we go. Okay, guys, I want to share something with you. I, I was thinking if I I was thinking in investment money, and I heard something about bitcoins and crypto monedas. What do you suggest? Why did me to you do? change the? Uh -huh, it, oh that's, that, it's supposed to be with returning things. Okay, keep it in yeah, mind. Yeah, why did you change the topic? <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and restart the timer. Go, 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 go. <laughs> okay. Um, well, uh, hey guys, I would like to return my uh, CD play that I bought uh, a few weeks ago, but I, I, I'm not sure if I'm able to do it because I bought it in Las Pulgas, San Salvador. So, what do you suggest me to do, or go, or what? I think that in that case, you should go to Las Pulgas, to the place that you both the CD player and um, to sorry? the place you bought it from oh to the place you bought it from mm -hmm. and ask for like a refund or or something like that but I'm not really sure if you will get a refund in that place so you're telling me that that I don't have a chance to get my money back or change the, the product yeah <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, that, that is so serious because I was uh, really uh, uh, exi excited about this uh, CD player, but I don't know oh. if I if if I would be able to get my money back. So, did, and did they if give I'm able you to get my money time? back, what do you suggest me to do or, or go and go and buy something? I think that if you want to buy an electronic device, you should go to to a physical place, but. Um, like a more secure physical place, like um, Radio Shack is one option or some of that places that sell electronic devices and you can test it, you can use it for a moment to know if the product is, I mean, in good conditions. Because if you try to buy an electronic device in a short, in, in I mean, um, a cheaper, electronic device in a short term it can be Time. more expensive oh Thank you very much Celia. Now <laughs> that you are actually running it okay great job there you go so was it just the two of you no it was no, we were three bea with us <laughs> yeah hey, bea, what's going on okay bea. yeah it was just supervising hey. mm -hmm. i like are you a supervisor by any chance <laughs> <laughs> okay so bea Okay. Bea, Bea, um, are you going to return it? Tell me again. Are you going to return it? Come on, follow my lead. Uh, no. <laughs> yes. Yes, okay. Why? Yes. <laughs> Why? Um, because, I, because I don't understand you. <laughs> Demole, improvise, improvise. Okay. So, um, yes, you, you should return all if you don't be happy with your um, boat because, um, because you need to, you need to be. Um, Are you nervous? Yes, I forget. That's exactly what I want. Continue. <laughs> you can do this. Okay. <laughs> okay. I I said in the group uh, that if you need something, you um you search for the good stores online or mm -hmm. in a physical stores because you need something good. So if you uh, buy, for example, in Las Pulgas, the product uh, can fold or uh, be damaged in three or two months. 
So uh, a product can be more expensive, but it's for long, you can use for a long time the product. For a longer time. So for a longer time, yes. Okay, okay. So Beatriz Adriana Martinez, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Hey guys, um, if, you, if I ever push you against the ropes, deal with it, right? It's okay to be under pressure sometimes and getting out of our comfort zone. So Bea, I'm sorry that I did this. No, I'm not really sorry. Uh, it's gonna help you a lot, so thank you. Thank you for facing the music. Okay, so I need another volunteer. Come on, let's go, we still have time. You, thank you, Roxana, you and your group, go for it. You got two minutes. If you don't know what to do, improvise. Three, two, one, go. Okay. okay Returning great. a product. Mm -hmm. um, hello, guys. Look, I want to buy a new cell phone. Why? What do you recommend? Then? You got to return? Recommend? No, recommend I want to, to buy it, but then I'm going to ask them for guarantees and policies. Go, go, go. Keep it, get the ball, get the ball okay. running. Continue. Okay, get the ball Rosanna. Running. Um, how much, how much um, you, you are planning to, to uh, spend, spend, spend. How spend, much you want to yep. spend? How much you want to spend on the, mm -hmm. on the new phone? Uh, I don't have in, <clears throat> too much money, but I need a cell phone that it's kind of cheap. Okay. I don't know. Refund policies, mm. girls. Maybe if you go to these little stores on the malls, maybe you can find. A you can find. Cell, you can find mm -hmm. a cell phone that is cheap and good at the same time. But I'm not sure if those places have a return policy. Oh, I need a phone, but I need the the guarantee because. The warranty. The warranty because um, if the cell phone it doesn't work, I don't want to spend the the money and and doesn't have the the product. Maybe you could ask the person that that sells you the phone to sell the phone to you to sell the phone to you uh, that. To write, who's gonna to write to you, um, like uh, a little warranty? Yes, okay, that's a good and idea. Two minutes, thank I you very much. Difficult, okay, great. Um, was it just the two of you? No, who was no. The, the third party? <laughs> Who was Daniel. the other one? Hi, <laughs> Danielito. Hold your horses, my, my man. <laughs> so, hey, Daniel. Um, listen, I want to buy a phone, but I need I need to know about the return policy. Do you have a, reper a return policy in your store? Um, Si tengo una política de retorno o algo así. Ajá, uh -huh. in your store, you are the employee. Ah, ah ok, ok. Uh, yes, I have, a, I have a policy uh, to return and, and guarantee. Oh, ok. Uh, I, have a, I have a lot of cell phone um, at good, a good prices. And, and de mucha calidad. Uh, with high quality. High quality, yes. Okay. And, and I have a question to you. How many days do I have to return the phone if it's broken? Uh, okay. Is 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 broken? Uh, the cell phone. I I have I have I give you a one month and for warranty. Oh, one month warranty. Okay. Okay. And uh, is water damage? Is water damage covered in the warranty? Water, water teacher. Water damage covered in the warranty. Let's say I go to the toilet and I accidentally drop my phone there. Daño, or, daño de agua. Uh -huh, that's right. Daño, okay. Yes, uh, I, I have warranty for this. 
Okay, great. <laughs> so I, I want to buy it from you. How much is it? Okay, mm, this is so cheap. Uh, I have a cell phone uh, on thirty thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Give me only, two. Only, 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 only. <laughs> solo por ser mi profesor. Oh, okay. Special <laughs> discount to you. Okay, great. Okay. Two minutes. Thank you. Hey, you, good job, Daniel. Good job. That's okay. the thing. Um, never let your confidence to be a problem. All right? You can do it okay. that's the right. best possible way. You can do it terrible. But at the end, you did it. And that's how you learn. So thank you very much, guys. Now, I okay. just a quick reminder. I got Marcela Beatriz right now from 10 to 10, 10. Roxana. 10, 10 to 10, 20. JC, my man, Juan Carlos, 10, 20 to 10, 30. Beatriz Adriana, 10, 30 to 10, 40. Apner, 10, 40 to 10, 50. Remember, log out of this session and log in in the other one. Okay, guys, as always, a pleasure. This is Alejandro Navarra. Get out of here. See you tomorrow. Thank you very Good much. Night. Homework. Good Thank night. You. Bye. 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 Bye.